So we'll start off by doing what we always do. Let's take a look at trees. And I'm going to do that by taking a look at this lead to rhythm strip here at the bottom. And I'll notice I've got this narrow QRS. And then I've got this kind of funky looking beat. And then narrow QRS and funky looking beat. And narrow QRS and funky looking beat. And it seems like the narrow QRS is, if I zoom in on them, have that, you know, P. QRS and T. So okay. So it seems like we kind of have this coupling of normal and then funky looking beat. Normal and funky looking beat. Okay. So let's take a look and let's just evaluate our normal beats. <clears throat> see what we can get. We do see that on our rhythm strip there is a nice P wave here. And that P wave, if I go up to lead one, I take a look at the P wave in lead one, it is up in lead one. And the P wave in AVF on our normal beats is up. So I know that these P waves, sinus, okay. Let's take a look at our PR intervals on those normal beats. I see that it's less than. 200 milliseconds, so we do not have an AV block, and that seems to be the case throughout all of our PR intervals. So nothing is changing. Our QRSs are narrow. Okay, they got a narrow QRS. My QRS is do this in red. My QRS upright in lead one. It's upright in AVF, so I know that means it's going down to the left, which is a normal axis. Okay. And I look at my ST and T waves throughout the leads. I can go lateral leads, which is one, AVL, V5, V6. I'm just taking a look at my, my ST segments and my T waves. Look at my inferior leads, which are two, three, and AVF. Take a look at my septal leads, V1, V2. Things seem to look okay. And I take a look at my anterior leads, V3 and V4, and I would agree there too. Okay, so we've said that these are, these are sinus beats. But let's take a look at these funky looking beats. And if I zoom in, what what I want to do is I want to characterize what where are these funky beats coming from? They're obviously premature because if I have this is an R wave right here that I'm gonna put this on. This is the next R wave of the next normal beat. So I would expect for the next QRS to occur right around here, but it's occurring right here. It's occurring early. Okay. And I want to zoom in and take a look at this beat itself and try to figure out, well, okay, this is an early beat, so this is a premature beat, but is it atrial, which is a PAC? Is it junctional? which you could say it's a premature junctional contraction, or is it ventricular, which would be a premature ventricular contraction, or a PVC. So the first thing I'm gonna do this QRS. Boxes and me. Or we will say PACs typically have the same. QRS morphology 
as normal beats because PACs come from the atria and they're conducted to, to the ventricles to create the QRS in the same fashion that any other normal sinus beat is conducted through to the ventricles through the Hisperkinji system. So when I typically see a wide premature beat, I think this is most likely a PVC because we know that PACs and PJCs, they usually have narrow QRS, unless they have a barren conduction, right? Obviously a PAC in somebody who has a left bundle branch block chronically or a right bundle branch block chronically, or if it's a PAC with a barren conduction, I think this is a PVC, but how can I make sure it is? And the best way to do that is to come here and look in front of this beat. And so what I'm going to do is I see my QRS starts right here, and I look in front, and do I see a P wave? I see on an old beat, P wave, QRS, but here I just see flat. And so I can scan through all the leads. I can start up here in lead one, and I can see that there is my QRS is right here. So there's my QRS. And then I don't see a P wave. Nope, no P wave. I can look here in lead three. I don't see a P wave, right? This is my, I'll do it in green. This is my T wave of the previous uh, beat, P, T wave of the previous beat. We know that T waves are usually, um, we'll say not sharp, but our P waves are typically sharper, shorter deflections, right? These nice sharp deflections. I look in front of these funky looking beats and I'm not seeing any atrial activity. And I'm looking really hard for it because I don't want to mess up where this focus is. And so I do not see any evidence of ectopic focus that is causing this to be premature from the atria. And so because of that, we have our our wide premature URS without atrial activity. So these are PVCs. But there's one more thing that I want to kind of walk you on to to make sure that we categorize this, this EKG the right way. Notice that our pattern is we've got one normal beat. We'll do it in green. We've got one normal beat. I'm going to be done here in lead two. We have a normal beat. And then we've got this funky beat or PVC. We've got a normal beat, PVC, normal beat, PVC, normal beat, PVC, normal beat, PVC in a pattern. And when a PVC comes for any premature beat, when any premature beat occurs every two beats, right? So this is every every two beats is premature. This is called, and I'm going to put this right here, by Jiminy. Because these are PVCs, this is ventricular by Jiminy. So this is a sinus rhythm with ventricular by Gemini. So hope you guys enjoy that and have a great day.